Hello everybody, welcome back to Philly Sports Era. Today we got some awesome news to share. Uh, the Sixers just re-signed Joel Embiid, or not re-signed, um, extended we should say. The Sixers have extended Joel Embiid to a four-year contract extension where over this time he's going to get paid $196 million and I think he's guaranteed over $200 million. That's absolutely insane. So before I go on, when I have kids one day, I'm telling my wife, hey yo, our kid's going to the NBA. Our kid is going to the NBA. Because I want to be a dad that has a son in the NBA and is making four, $196 million over four years to play basketball. All right, so just wanted to get off my chest. So, Joel Embiid has signed a four-year, $196 million contract extension with the Philadelphia 76ers. So, he's going to be pretty much locked up for the rest of his career in Philadelphia, which I'm very excited to hear because Joel Embiid is a stud, and he was the 2021 MVP runner-up, and he almost took us to the Eastern Conference Finals if it weren't for Ben Simmons and his free throw shooting and the shooting and offensive basketball confidence. This is Joel Embiid's video. I'm not going to bring up uh, Ben Simmons. That is for another video that we're going to get to at some point. Um, so, while I got you here, let's talk about Joel Embiid. Uh, obviously, as we know, he did not win MVP for the 2021 NBA season. Um, Nikola Jokic won it. I mean, I was fine with that. I know that Jokic had a better year than Joel. I know a lot of you guys... Don't want to hear that, um, but it's true. Jokic had a very good season, and I'm not going to discount that. Um, he did stuff that centers do not do, which is average pretty much triple-double every night. He dropped multiple 50-point games, I believe, even though Joel did drop 60 in a game, which is pretty insane. But No, did he drop 60 or 50? I forget. I really do forget. My bad. Um, so, having Joel back is huge. Having lo him locked up so he doesn't even have thoughts of leaving. So nobody tampers with him and tells him, Hey, JoJo, come to Los Angeles. Hey, JoJo, come to Miami. There's going to be none of that because Joel has signed a massive contract extension with the Sixers. Thus, I am wearing my Joel and B jersey. Because I'm hyped that the big man's coming back. I'm very, very excited. Um, so if you look at his 2021 stats, they were deserving of a massive payday. Um, averaged about 29 points a game. Averaged about 11 rebounds, 3 assists. Shot 51% from the field, 38% from 3. And I believe he shot about 86% from the free throw line. Which is absolutely insane. Um, so, last year was weird. It was really weird. Um, Joel was the runner-up for MVP, right? But he didn't make the All-NBA first team, because there can only be one center. That makes no sense. The All-NBA team, I hate how it is. I hate how it's by position. I really do hate it. It should be just the top five players. The top five players in three different tiers, like first team, second team, third team. That's how it should be. And the fact that Joel couldn't make it just because there would be two centers, just make one of a forward. I'm pretty sure Jokic would be fine be, listing, be listed as a power forward because, you know, I don't really think he would care. So it's a shame that Joel did not make the All NBA first team, um, but you know who's counting? He's already has a Hall of Fame career, four-time All Star, three-time All Defensive, three-time All NBA All Rookie Team. Um, he he has been huge. The signing is not only big for him; it's big for the city of Philadelphia. You know we aren't lucky enough to have this type of generational talent on our teams. The Phillies have their Bryce Harper. The Flyers have... I mean, they got Sean Couturier. 
Well, we'll give Shock a three. And they also had Claude Giroux. They had these cornerstones of their franchises. The Eagles got Fletcher Cox, Jason Kelsey. These superstars at their spots. And the Sixers locked up their superstar in Joel Embiid. I mean, I mean that's really all I got. Um, and I like to make my videos at about 10 minutes long. So, let's talk about Ben Simmons. I haven't... I, in, since my revise on YouTube, I haven't talked about the Sixers at all. So, instead of me posting something on Instagram, let me post something right here on YouTube. Uh, talking about Ben Simmons. What is his deal? Is he going to be with the Philadelphia 76ers? I think he will be. Um, I think that he's probably going to be here in training camp. He's probably going to be here at the start of the season. I think he will probably be traded by the NBA trade deadline uh, because he's going to do... Because there's a cycle. There is literally a cycle. I saw it on Instagram. He plays good. He plays well enough to make the All-Star team. But I think that that probably won't work this year because everybody knows the cycle now. Everybody knows how much he sucked in the playoffs. And there's a lot more other deserving players of that spot. Trey Young did not make it because Ben Simmons made it. And that's sad. That really is sad. That a young, talented player like Trey Young did not make it because Ben Simmons had to make it. He's almost a perennial all star. You know, the all-star team in basketball is corrupt. It's it's a it's a popularity contest, like my dad says. Same with the NFL. Uh, did I really think that Fletcher Cox, Cox should have made it last year? I, there's probably other defensive tackles that had a better year, but it's the name. It's the name Fletcher Cox. When you think of Fletcher Cox, you think of, oh, he's a, he's a top three defensive tackle in the NFL. Is he that anymore? Maybe, maybe not. Probably Aaron Donald, Chris Jones, uh, Grady Jarrett, um, who else? DeForest Buckner, probably better than Fletcher Cox at this point. I mean, Fletch can still clog up the line. That's for dang sure. Fletch can still clog up the line. Um, but let's, let's return to Ben Simmons. Do I want him to be traded? Yes. So does every single citizen in the state of Pennsylvania and the state of New Jersey wants Ben Simmons traded. And I am one of them. Do I want to trade him for CJ McCollum? No. Do I want to trade him for Shea Gilgis Alexander? No. I want to trade him for Damian Lillard. I know you've been hearing this for a long time. He's the next LeBron James. Yes, we've heard it all. We've heard it that he's going to be the next uh, LeBron James. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but I kind of agree. If he has the same confidence, the same ferocity as Joel and um, LeBron James. If he is aggressive like he was in the Wizards, like the second game of the Wizards series, where he, he was aggressive, he just ran to the hoop and slammed it and was screaming. That's what we need. That's when. That's what people see when they see Le, um, Ben. That's when they see the LeBron. The screaming after the dunks. The amazing athleticism at his at his size. What's holding him back is his confidence and it's mental. I don't know what Philadelphia does to these athletes, but we saw it with Markel. It's just the confidence is shot. And Ben really needs to see a psychologist. He needs to see someone to be like, hey, Ben, you are one talented basketball player. You need to go out there. You need to shoot that basketball. The whole premises of basketball itself, shoot the ball into the hoop. And he doesn't do that. And that's the only thing holding him back from not being mocked, not being memed. Ben just needs to raise his shoulder. That's all he needs to do. He needs to be aggressive. He needs to take mid-range shots. He needs to shoot three-pointers. 
people say, you know, he's he's already talented as is. Why does he need to? Because that's the only thing that's saving his career. Is the what if Ben Simmons had a jump shot? That's the only thing that's holding on to him right now. So. I just want to come on here and talk about Joel and B, but we ended up just talking about Ben Simmons. So it's okay. There's not much to talk about with Joel. He's a stud. He got paid just like he deserved to. And we just talked about Ben Simmons and what he needs to do. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Philly Sports Era. Follow me on Twitter at Benny Football. Um, I'll put all those usernames in the, the description below. Make sure you guys drop your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate it. There might be something coming out tomorrow. Something huge concerning this channel. So definitely stay tuned. Have your post notifications on. And um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.